even set up the way it is. You know what I'm saying? Because they got um, FEMA box cars. You know what I'm saying? On them, tra on them trains. A lot of them uh, trains that got them uh, that, that are like stacked high, those are FEMA box cars, man. They're going to put people in those box cars and bring them to concentration camps. Mm. But see, that's why I was going to say. I heard this. They've been building, they already been building them for like the last eight years now, those FEMA camps. Well, look at Walmart. Walmart backward is what? Mark Law, Martial Law. So that's gonna be used as a concentration camp. I heard camp. about that. You know what I'm saying? A, a lot of these targets and stuff, they do they do actual drills in, in abandoned uh, 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 target um, stores and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Well, so I am glad <laughs> I met you, man. Nah, man, it's, a, it's all the most high, man. I'm glad I met you. You know what I'm saying? But it says, um, when thou shalt cease to spoil. You're making me think I'm not crazy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, when it comes to the scripts, man, you ain't crazy. Lord right. rush you with the knowledge, man. You know what I'm saying? You ain't crazy, man. Yeah. It says, and then when thou, it says, when thou shalt cease to spoil, thou shalt be spoiled. And when thou shalt cease, no, when thou shalt make an end to deal treacherously, which they're about to try to do, they're about to try to get rid of the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, because you have a thing called the Georgia Guidestones. Have you ever, you know about that? Yes, sir. Exactly. And that's, and How that's. they want to bring the population down to 500 million and all bunch of stuff. And who's the majority, who, what's the majority of the nationality of people that make up the population? Well, whites and Asians? Nah, the Negroes. Or, no, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah dark skin folks. Yeah, yeah, dark skin folks. Yeah, Because what, what did, uh, what did the, um, let me get this for you. This uh, Exodus. Check this out. This is how you know that we are the majority of the people that make up the population. It's saying, because this is it, it, the same thing happened in uh, Egypt. Those Georgia Vatican's, it's crazy. They don't, we don't even know who put them there. <laughs> Probably the elites. You know, the Rothschilds. And the Most High letting us, the Most High let you know, man. I'm like, look, man. He is, look, you, you showing me, man. That's crazy. Look, check this out. This is, uh, because the scriptures say in uh, the book of Ecclesiastes, nothing new is under the sun. So they try to get all get rid of us back then. They're going to try to get rid of us now because uh, uh, the so-called white man, those Rothschilds, they're the modern day pharaohs. You know what I'm saying? Right. So this is uh, Exodus chapter 1, verse 8. Now there arose up a new king over Egypt, with knew not, which knew not Joseph. And he said unto his people, Behold, the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. Come on, let us deal wisely with them, lest they multiply, mm. and it come to pass that when they there falleth out thy any war, they join also our enemies and fight against us, and so and and go and so get them up out of their land. So we're the majority of the people that make up the population, and that's you know why they saying? create this whole black against Mexican thing, and because we all are supposed to be. Exactly. One. But they don't know that but what we well we know, you know, us brothers that are awake, is that was a curse put upon us by the heavenly father. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna get it for you. That was an actual curse in Deuteronomy the twenty eighth chapter yeah. that was put upon us by the heavenly father, man. You know what I'm saying? Where is that? Because we're really all the same people, man. start some violence well those could, are you know yeah, what i mean yeah i know what you're talking about like they got a uh, spy yeah they're called um they're called uh, agent provocateurs you know what i'm saying a lot of those um 
a lot of those uh, Black Lives Matter people that, that push that forth, they're paid off by the government to do that, exactly. to rouse That's up the mean. people. You know what I'm saying? They're, those are called um, age of provocateurs, just like the, um, what was that movie that they had back then? Uh, it was like in 2012, 2000, 2013. Um, damn. The Purge? Nah, 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 nah. Um, what's it called, man? They were, the white people was doing it hard, man. They was, they was out camping and shit. Um, I, I forgot, man. Find it right now. It's a dude. If you read Deuteronomy the 28th chapter, it tells you. I can't find it. I'm gonna I'm go home and highlight it. But I gotta read that chapter because um, this guy I've been talking to has been stressing on me. He, he you know, he like he been saying, I'm not gonna tell you. I'm not gonna tell you what it says. You gotta do your own research. But do, read Deuteronomy 28, and you'll know exactly why Negroes are going through what they're going through. Well, if you read Deuteronomy, he should he should tell you and break it down to you anyway because the simple fact, you know, what I'm saying that the scriptures tell you that you have to be taught again right i was taught by my apostles you know what i'm saying and i'm and i'm carrying on through them and i still get taught by my apostles yes. you know what i'm saying so you have to be taught again i can't just tell you well hey brother i'm out here let just let me teach you and go do your thing no i'm out here to teach the people right. you know what i'm saying so if you're not teaching you by you know you you go do your own research but you know you, you need somebody to break it down for you because exactly. the scriptures say precept must be upon precept line upon line you know what I'm saying? Well, let me get that for you. You know what I'm saying? It says, uh, yeah, this is, um, yeah, um, Isaiah chapter 28, verse 9. Whom shall he teach knowledge? What we're speaking out here. And whom shall he make to understand doctrine, the doctrine of truth? Not that church doctrine that them church goers be. You know what I'm saying? Them Sunday church pastors, man. We don't deal with that up here, man. I had a dude one time come up here trying to bring forth that stuff, man. I told him straight up, man, we don't deal with that stuff up here. Because those church pastors are set up by the government, too. Right. It's something called the 501c3 charter. You ever heard of that? No. Basically, the 501c3 charter is basically you have to teach what the government wants you to teach. Oh, yeah. Like, you, you know got to go saying? to Bible school and... Exactly. Teach what they want you to teach. Exactly. Yeah. Which really, and, and really, and and your tax exempt. So that's why the pastor, you know what I'm saying, um, you remember that movie, uh, Don't Be a Menace to mm -hmm. Society. Remember what he said? They, and see, and that's the thing about the, 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 the Wayne's Brothers, man. They put, like those little parody movies that they do, they put a little bit of truth in all of them. Because right. that's how shit really is, man. They make fun of it, but they're really actually putting truth in it. People laugh at it, but that's... That it's really how that's really how shit is. Yeah, that's like, the only way they can put it out. Is exactly. To make a joke about it. Exactly. So, you know, when you come to the scripts and you get that discernment, when when the pastor dude said, "Oh, why the pastor gotta have a nice house?" You know what I'm saying? Why the pastor gotta have a nice car? Don't ask no questions. And do people ask questions? No. He said, "What? What he say? He said, just put the money in the basket." That's really how these pastors are. And people don't ask questions. Like, wait, hold on. Why am I giving him all my bread? And, and he's telling me, you're, I'm just going to be blessed. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, you know what? Let me, That's let me, some funny stuff. Right yeah, there. bro, because look, and the, and the Lord says it, man. Look, check this out. He has, he, the Lord wrote a whole whole uh, uh, chapter uh, 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 about, about this passage. Look, this is Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 1. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture. Mm. said the Lord and that's talking about those uh, pastors in those church houses because all they're doing in there is telling people lies right. they'll bring out one script right and they'll go and they'll bring out one script close the book and go off on their own heart mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying oh you know we need this in the black community you know uh, the Lord loves everybody that's why he you know it's, it's all a, it's all a, a, a it's like it's like going to a goddamn movie you know what yeah. I'm saying it's like going to go see a movie man you're like what the fuck like you know what I'm saying like <laughs> And the main, pe the main uh, uh, people that are into that church stuff is our people, the Israelites. You know right. what I'm saying? Those are the main people because they're into that church stuff because they're trying to find the truth. Mm -hmm. But they can't find it. Like, look, check this out. That's why I told you uh, earlier uh, they have a zeal. But this is um, Romans chapter 10, verse 1. It says, brethren, my heart's desire and prayer 
to the Most High for Israel. 